Welcome everyone, and thanks for joining us for another big day at Coros. I am your old friend Louis, and I'm here in the Coros office in Irvine, California for this event. I know it's only been a few months since our last launch in May, but now we're ready to present to you something even more impressive. The Coros team is honored to assist and improve your athletic training life as well as share the beauty of outdoor sports with you through our products and our values. As you may already be aware, Coros is known to evolve our existing products with new features as long as the hardware capacity allows. It is our goal to provide longevity to our products rather than forcing you to buy a new device, which creates unneeded landfill. Today is exciting as we are announcing two new watches and you're going to want to stay through for the full presentation. Before we get started, you are encouraged to leave your comments and questions in the YouTube chat on the right side of the video screen as members of the Coral scene will respond throughout the event. Now, how about some fun facts? Did you know that the average Coral user has 18 hours workout or runs over 70 miles per month? More than 20% of Coros users do four or more activities per week. Although I don't have the exact data from other brands, I am very confident that the Coros users are the most active in training and working out. Just like our users, the Coros brand continues to grow at an incredible rate, with more than three times as many new users in the first half of the year than in 2020. I'm so grateful to be able to provide the training tools to those amazing people in our community. The biggest news from Carl's year to date was that we launched the all new Evolite Sports Science platform to all Carl's watch users. I'm happy to report that over 90% of Carl's users have already upgraded with the new features. So far, the feedback has been fantastic and the suggestions for improvements are also very helpful. The Coral sports science team will continue to improve and evolve the platform with the goal of creating the ultimate sports science data platform for all outdoor sports. The ideas of assisting performance sports training and sharing the passion of outdoor sports make Coral's who we are. We, they drive us to create products that are better, easier, and more reliable. Now, I'm ready to introduce you to the new products beginning with the Coros Pace 2, Elliot Kipchoge Edition. Let me send it over to Dan to get things started. Thanks, Lewis. Hi, everybody. I'm Dan Shore, part of the team here at Coros. At the end of last year, we introduced you to Coros Pro Athlete and Marathon World Record holder, Elliot Kipchoge. Elliot has been using the Coros products, including the Pace 2, the Pod, and the software for his training. He has also been giving us valuable feedback on how to build the best tool for runners. We sat down with Elliot from his training camp in Kenya to chat about how he and his coaching staff used the data gathered from his Coros watch and the Coros pod to improve his training in real time and post run. Hello and good afternoon from Kenya. I'm at a training camp right now. Tokyo Olympic Games actually is totally different. First is that, uh, uh, you know, is this the second time uh, uh, Olympic Games being held in Japan. Secondly, is that uh, this is the only Olympic Games which was actually extended from the fourth year to the fifth year. Uh, and thirdly, is that uh, we are actually going to compete actually in, in, in a restricted area, compete actually in the middle of the pandemic, complete, compete actually in the, in the middle of many challenges in the world, which can keep us all also more, more energy to work on, more energy mentally to think and understand the world respect other human beings, knowing that uh, challenges are part of life, respecting other people, knowing that uh, we need to think differently, but we probe, we bring our, our thoughts together in order for us to move on. When I'm racing, actually a lot is going on in my mind, but I try to shut down what's actually disturbing, but I'll, I normally concentrate on the splits, concentrate on the time, concentrate on the course, but the people listen to my body and how my body reacts as, as, as actually, uh, as kilometers is actually uh, uh, going on. So it's, it's, it's a combination of facts that uh, I'm on the 
my, part of my praying actually is concentrating on splits at a time. Part of my praying actually is listening to the body, that uh, on how the body is reacting, especially uh, after 30 kilometers, knowing that everywhere is aching and I need to keep on, push on, understand that this is the only, I'm not the only one who's actually uh, uh, feeling pain. Uh, when we actually, when I sit with a technical team in following uh, my physiotherapists, my coaches, then the important thing actually is to see how my heart is behaving, especially during the intensive training. On the other hand is that uh, how my body is actually working on, how are the steps, are my legs actually 50-50, uh, are my steps, uh, am I walking or am I running? So it's, 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 it, those, that's the third way by I'm really looking on and the technicians are really looking on because if you, you know, uh, uh, and, and the times that uh, your foot is stepping on the crown and coming out, the strength uh, and the, longe the, 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 the length of, of your strides. That's how actually we are talking on. That's how the improvement we are, uh, we are improving and discussing as far as data is concerned. <laughs> Oh, the choral sport actually is, is important. Choral sport, if you are a professional or even a social runner, then to have a board actually uh, in, your, in, in your park is really crucial. You know, it has a lot of benefits. And if you learn and see what the tata, what's going on as far as uh, board is concerned, you will learn more about your body. You will see uh, uh, the benefits. You will see the performance that you are performing because of this uh, effect. Uh, to start with is that, uh, you know, uh, uh, you will know how many steps actually your one leg will, will actually have uh, per minute. You will know how long your strides are. You will know whether you are, you are, you are, which food is staying for a long time in your crown. You will know actually uh, uh, how, how many steps both legs are taking for, for running for, for 30 kilometers. So it's really a crucial thing for everybody. Be it a professional athlete, be it a social runner, be it somebody who is walking or even choking for two kilometers, it's really crucial because it keeps us, even you can know your form. Are you running, are you wasting a lot of energy running or you are just saving your, your, your energy when you are running? And that's what uh, the board is doing. So introduction of board as far as chorus is concerned is really evolving and making people to, to think and making people actually to know what's going on. So it's a critical thing. I ask everybody to have a cross watch and a port at the same time, because that's the only way to learn more. That's the only way to, to know about your body. That's the only way to know if you want to perform more, you need to, uh, to, to have that port. That's the only way to know whether are you wasting a lot of energy running, either in competition, either in speed training, either in long runs, or you are just conserving that energy, but getting the same, the same benefits. So it's really crucial. Uh, you know, I actually enjoy using Koro's watch. First thing is that uh, after the run, I know which pace I, I was using. It was a long run, then I know which kilometer was really fast, which kilometer was really moderate, which kilometer was really average and which kilometer was really slow. So that's what actually uh, uh, the watch is telling me. And above all, after, the, after finishing, then it tells me you are pumped a certain uh, amount of glucose. So it's, it's, it, it's really on the, on, on, the, on the thought. It tells you everything. And you, your work is just to relax, jump in and run, and you'll get all the data. I think I'm happy actually to, for Koros to introduce an EK watch. And when I see, when I see this watch, EK watch, then actually it's, uh, it tells everybody, please, no human is limited. You are not limited at all. Let us press on, press on, and press on. Let us push on for run. You know, this is where we are, we are getting fit. And at all, let us enjoy running. When, when, you, when you get an EK watch, it tells you, please, come out of your door run and enjoy actually have fun. This is the only way to, to be free in this world. Running is where freedom is. And, and, and if you have the EK watch, that's where freedom is.
Well, we don't want to keep you waiting any longer, so let's jump right in. As you may have noticed in the video, Elliot was wearing a special version of the Koros Pace 2. The Elliot Kipchoge Edition. The EK Pace 2 watch features a white body on our award-winning Pace 2 model, with hints of red and green inspired by the national colors of Elliot's native Kenya. These colors are seen on the watch's buttons, as well as the trim of the watch band, and the default watch face, which is styled like a finish line clock. The watch package will also include two watch bands, one silicone and one nylon, so you can switch things up based on your own preference. Lastly, because Elliot gets such great use out of the advanced running metrics from the Koros Pod, this additional product is bundled together with the Elliot Kipchoge Edition Pace 2. Now you can get the maximum data from your runs and train using the same data used by Elliot and his technical team. We are so pumped about this collaboration and know that the Elliot Kipchoge Edition watch will be a must-have for runners and collectors alike. As you saw just a week and a half ago, Elliot is now a two-time Olympic gold medalist in the marathon. And how inspiring was that race? But what you may not know is his first senior level gold medal came in the 5,000 meters at the 2003 World Championships in Paris. That's why we've created just 5,000 units available on Coros.com and at select retailers around the world. The watch plus the pod plus the extra band is a $300 value, but will be offered at a retail price of just $250 US dollars. Pre-ordering starts today on Coros.com and it will be shipped before the end of this week. Remember, like Elliot said, when you wear his watch, you should recognize that no human is limited. We know that the Elliot Kipchoge Edition Pace 2 will inspire you to train a little harder and race a little faster. Before I turn it over to my colleague Helen to continue the presentation, I'd like to share a sneak peek of Elliot Kipchoge's movie, The Last Milestone, set for its digital premiere on August 23rd. Let's watch the trailer and be inspired yet again. In the journey of life, there is ups and downs. In marathon, there is a lot of challenges, ups and downs. There is pain in training, pain in running, and joy at the end of the marathon. Welcome to Vienna, Austria, where Kenya's Elliot Kipchoge will hope to run 26.2 miles in under two hours, and in doing so, beat one of the great sporting barriers of our time. Everybody should believe in his own capability. You are seeing somebody here with a mind that if he puts it on something, nothing will distract him from it. The moment the gun goes, then that is it. If it happens, it will be an incredible inspiration. It's not about the color or where right you are born. It's about working hard. I still believe that breaking a two-hour marathon is impossible. If not now, when? And everything just stopped. It was like a solar eclipse. We wanted to make history and inspire the human family. Everybody should believe that's what makes us grow and push and push again. So I can say, marathon is life. What a journey watching Elliot's story. As he said in the movie, marathon is life. At Koros, adventure and exploration are life. That's why we created the Koros Vertex equipped with the most capable hardware and the most innovative technology. Outdoor Gear Lab called the Koros Vertex the best altimeter watch. Here is what they said. Aimed at the mountain athlete who's going long and high, this watch has unbeatable battery life. 
Its features provide more information than just altitude. It can also help track your acclimatization and fitness. With impressive altimeter and GPS accuracy and the ability to import and follow specific routes, record a variety of sports, and even track sleep, heart rate, blood oxygen content, the Vertix seems to do it all. Vertix is more than a watch. It's the adventurous stories that you and your watch create together. Over the past two years, we have seen users bring their Vertix to the highest peak on the planet and through the world's hottest deserts. We are always inspired by achievements recorded by the Vertix and experienced by its users. We collected the following clips from our user community and would like to share them with you. As we continue to evolve the Vertix product line, we are beyond excited to present the most powerful GPS watch that we've made so far, loaded with innovative technologies, the Coros Vertix 2. This is not just an upgrade, this is a breakthrough. To tell you more, I'd like to hand it back over to Lewis. As a big wall rock climber myself, one of my struggles using a GPS watch is the accuracy near or on a rock wall. It's common for the GPS signal to reflect off the rock wall and it may show you to the south side of the valley when you're actually climbing on El Capitan. Here's an example that I'd like to show you on Strava of my climb in Yosemite for the nose in a day last year, right here. Obviously, the watch was not able to track what I actually did. And I am a little bit embarrassed to show you my nearly world record 1K run personal best was actually from an alpine climb that I had years ago. See how strange the track was? Does it look familiar to you? And you don't need to be a big wall climber to experience this. All current GPS watch performance is challenging in big cities with skyscrapers, deep in the forest with heavy tree coverage, or when you just hike by the rock wall, such as in the Grand Canyon. While normal GPS watches work well in open environments, our users consistently have their adventures in places that disrupt satellite connection. The Coros engineering team is committed to solve this problem for the community. But the years-long software optimization wasn't able to provide the best solution until now. The Vertix 2 is equipped with a whole new generation satellite chipset, the all-satellite dual-frequency GNSS chipset. With this chipset, the Vertix 2 can talk to all five major satellite systems, GPS, GLONASS, Galileo, QZSS, and Beidou at the same time. It even offers dual frequency satellite communication, an express lane for more accuracy, better signal previously available in aviation products. The Vertix 2 has three satellite modes. Standard GPS only, all systems on, and all systems plus dual frequencies on. Standard GPS only is what you can find in all types of GPS watches and all systems on turns on the communication with every single satellite visible in the sky regardless of its system. It's recommended by Coros for the next level accuracy on activities such as running, cycling, and water sports. The last option, all systems plus dual frequencies on, 
brings you the ultimate accuracy for the most challenging environments. Rock walls, huge cities, or deep forests. Here are some photos taken by a beta tester, Serapad, in Thailand. Using the built-in satellite tool from the Coral Swatches, it's easy to find out just how much stronger the satellite connection is on Vertex 2 compared to our previous watches. And here's one more. His Vertex Zoo was able to acquire 63 satellites at the same time. Do you think you can beat this number when you get your Vertex Zoo? If you do, share a photo with us on social media by tagging Coros Global. I'd like to share with you some case studies from our previous tests just to give an idea of the comparison in accuracy. The first one was climbing in Eldorado Canyon in Colorado. The Aldo Canyon is quite narrow and I have never seen any GPS watches had any good results over there. Just like the orange line here. It's all over the place and you don't really know what the climbers did. However, when it comes to the Vertex 2, you will see something completely different. Let me just remove the orange line here. Yes. The blue line is what you did. Hey climbers in Aldo Canyon, is it something you have been expecting before? Now let's put them together, the orange and the blue. The second example is a trail run that I did in the San Cogonio Mountains. As you can see, there was some tree coverage. The orange line was the Vertex 2 and the blue line was another watch. Although the trees weren't really thick, it's enough to make some troubles for the other watch. Since I ran out and back on the same trail, the orange lines matched each other much better than the blue did. Another rock climb example. This time the environment wasn't that bad, it was quite open. And we followed a pretty straightforward crack all the way to the top. But still, the blue line was still having some troubles not knowing where we were, throwing us here and there while the orange line, which was the Vertex Zoo, did a good job tracking our climb. Running in the New York City where huge buildings exist. Again, orange was Vertex Zoo and the blue was another device. Although the orange was not perfect, it obviously did a better job than the blue following the streets. Look at this part. In combination with the new satellite chipset, our engineers are able to build a more powerful processor which brings faster responsiveness on the Vertex 2 than the Vertex 1. We also have a 1.4 inch screen with 16% higher resolution that allows the Vertex 2 to present more information at a glance and keep you updated with key metrics anytime and anywhere. The Vertex 2 also supports up to eight data fields on a single page giving you more information you crave throughout your activities. I'm sure you are amazed by the new Vertex spec so far, but we are just getting started. Route finding is one of the most critical components of your outdoor life. Sometimes it can be life-saving. The Vertex 2 now offers three global offline mapping and includes three map modes, landscape, topo, and a hybrid mode combining those two. The Vertex 2 comes with a full global landscape map out of the box and users can download their topo map by region for free from Coros.com. Well, it may be the first time mapping comes to a Coros watch. The experience on the Vertex 2 goes far beyond just seeing a map. With the iconic digital dial, you can zoom in and out of the map and drag around the map with the highly responsive touch screen. Both capabilities allow Vertex 2 to offer the best experience for on-risk navigation. Here is something very important and exciting. Remember, at the beginning of the event, we said that Corals won't give up on delivering new features to existing users whenever we have a chance? We've heard from so many existing Vertex users requesting mapping on their devices, and we kept trying. It was so difficult that it took us years to optimize this technology for the original Vertex hardware. I am extremely happy to announce to our community that your Vertex 
at Apex Pro are going to receive an update later this year to support Topo Maps. It won't be as rich as the features on the new Vertex 2. For example, the current watch lineup will not receive the landscape map, and the on-watch storage is not big enough to hold the global map, but users will be able to pick your local region's Topo map for downloading from carlos.com. We need to give the team a little extra time to walk through the programming and development, so stay tuned for an update before the end of 2021. Now back to Vertex 2. I'd like to bring on my colleague Derek to tell you the more features. Hi, I'm Derek Dalzell with the Sports Science Team. Understanding how your body gets stressed and recovers is key to your athletic training. The Vertex 2 is equipped with the Evo Lab ecosystem providing accurate feedback on your recovery status. Beyond your training intensity, there are other life factors that impact your performance. These are food, sleep, stress, emotion, sickness, or even caffeine. The Vertex 2 is also equipped with the electrocardiogram, also known as ECG sensor, so you can measure your heart rate variability, known as HRV, straight from your wrist. HRV is an ideal metric for measuring your body's response to stress and its ability to recover from your daily life. The Coro system converts each individualized HRV into an easily comparable metric from 1 to 100. The higher the number, the more relaxed your body is, or the faster your body is able to recover. We recommend you use both the Recovery Timer in EvoLab and your HRV score for the most complete assessment of your body's training readiness. To do an HRV test from your Vertex 2, sit down, go to your toolbox menu, scroll to HRV test, and then put your fingers on your watch bezel. The watch will start vibrating with your heart rate when it reads the signal. The measurement should be done in 60 seconds. To use the Coro's HRV system, we recommend taking your measurement right when you wake up, even before picking up a toothbrush. This timing helps to eliminate other factors and focuses on the recovery from your prior night's sleep. Your test from the first three mornings will establish a great baseline of your personal data within the Coro system. The more consistently you measure from day to day, the better the watch will get to know you. It's recommended to take at least five morning measurements each week to maintain a good trend line of your recovery speed. With 32 gigabytes of onboard storage, the Vertex 2 can hold more data, more workouts, more routes, and for the first time in a Coro's GPS watch, music. Now you can download and control your audio files straight from your GPS watch. Additional Wi-Fi capabilities are also available on the Vertex 2, adding even greater possibilities for accessory pairing and more. And oh, Elliot Kipchoge told me that this was his favorite song. The Vertex 2 watch has a redesigned user interface, releasing the potential of our iconic digital dial. Now you can effortlessly scroll to view your most important daily metrics at a glance. An improved touchscreen allows you to perform certain actions with the tip of your finger, providing precise control when navigating as well as accessing music and data fields. Now back to Lewis. Hey Kyle, how's it going? Good, how are you? Hey, Morning. That was a shot from the Insta360 ONE X2. I have used it many times on my own outdoor activities. The engineers in both companies worked this cool feature out together. Now, if you have an Insta360 action camera, One X2 and One R, you can control it from your Carlos Vertex watch. This means you can also place your camera out of your arm's reach to get the best shots. This is another great example working with other brands to share our mission of helping more people enjoy the outdoors. Vertex 2 once again comes with a special hard case to protect your new adventure gear. This case offers a slimmer solution perfect for protecting your phone, wallet, 
keys, and even your action cameras from the elements. The Vertex 2 will also come with a specially designed mode for multi-pitch climbs, which is the first sport mode ever built in for climbers accomplishing multi-pitch rock climbs, overnight big wall missions, alpine rock, ice, or mixed technical routes. Here's one last piece that you have never seen before. Again, as a climber myself, I understand there are certain scenarios where you just cannot wear a watch. For example, jamming the hand cracks. That's why our team has designed a specific watch carabiner where you can clip your Vertex 2 and attach it to your harness or any other convenient locations. We tasked our designers with a special project of creating this innovative accessory, and they delivered. This specialty batch will be limited to just a few hundred units and will be available in late fall. Due to the cost associated with the limited production quantity, the carabiner will be at a price of $79.99. In my conversation with some tech-savvy reviewers, the first question they asked after hearing about the new satellite technology was, how does it impact the battery life? Well, for the reputation Carlos has in our energy efficient design, the battery life should never be a concern. When we introduced the first generation of Vertex, the 60 hours full GPS battery life and 45 days regular use shocked industry. And this time, we're ready to shock you again. Here we go. 60 days of regular use, 140 hours of full standard GPS only tracking. That's almost six days. Some brands watches don't even last that long in standby mode. Additionally, it has 90 hours of all systems on tracking and 50 hours of all systems plus dual frequency on tracking. And it takes less than two hours to charge from zero to 100%. With music playing in your Bluetooth headphones, your Vertex 2 can last 35 hours depending on your satellite setting. You can also turn on the Ultra Max mode in certain activities to further extend the battery life to 240 hours. This is the longest battery life you've ever seen in a GPS watch. No matter how you measure, with or without solar power, anything. What a journey showing you the Vertex 2. I'm sure all these new technologies and features will make you agree that the Vertex 2 is a watch truly built for adventures. We also have not ignored that as a watch, it's important for your device to look good. The Vertex 2 is incredible from every angle. Let's take another close look at what this beautiful watch has to offer. Just to summarize, the Vertex 2 GPS Adventure watch is a completely new designed Carlos watch with a new all systems, dual frequencies satellite chipset, a 20% faster processor, a 16% larger display, and a newly redesigned user interface. It also comes with onboard offline global mapping, mind-blowing battery life, and an ECG sensor to measure your recovery level. Lastly, it is audio and music enabled, Wi-Fi equipped, and can control your Insta360 camera from your wrist. The Vertex 2 case and the watch carabiner open up new possibilities for hard multi-day climbs to recreational kayaking on a lake. 
and I just can't wait for you to take the verdict suit for your daily training as well as your next big adventure. That's the verdict suit. It will come in two color options, obsidian and lava. Both are at a price of US dollar $699.99 and available today on carlos.com and select retail partners for pre-order. Carlos is also fortunate enough to get help from Tommy Cadwell, the best big wall rock climber in the world in designing the Vertex suit. He is also a person that I respect a lot in all aspects. Whether it's his historical down wall ascent, the fifth traverse in Patagonia, or the groundbreaking sub two hours nose speed record on the El Capitan. Breaking two hours? Hmm, does it sound familiar? Tommy reminds us what's possible in a human body. Life is a gift from parents, but Tommy's story of fighting the lows in his life and exploring perfection is exactly what Carlos and our Vertex Watch want to pursue. We would like to give the first 500 people who buy the Vertex 2 a free copy of Tommy's book, The Push, along with a signed bookmark from him. I'm sure Tommy's story will inspire you as it inspires Carlos to push harder and achieve something meaningful in our lives. I hope you all had a great time today on the introduction of the Carlos Verdict 2 as well as the Carlos Pace 2 Elliot Kipchoge edition. Celebrating the greatest marathon runner of all time as he comes off his second Olympic gold medal in marathon. I'd like to thank everyone for watching today and I'll see you all on the trail in the mountains or on the slope very soon. <laughs>